I'm Harold Price. Uh, we'll go ahead and start I, with you, sir. Okay. I represent myself, a uh, business owner. I've been a family business owner for 40 years. I'm opposed to this bill strictly because, you know, we, we had a claim. We were two years trying to get them. Literally, a 19,000 square foot building, half of it was damaged, and they admitted that. But the rest of it, they wouldn't. It was gravel roof. The roof was pouring. They they went through all the all the hoops and and basically just fell on deaf ears. And you know, to me, it looks to me like I hear y'all talk a whole lot about how the consumer and the, the lawyers are, are doing this, but. I think you're missing the point to hold accountable the insurance companies, and you're giving them more leeway, and, and they can't have any more because they, they'll just flat tell you no, and no is not, uh, you know, when you're a small business, small businesses, by the way, are real threatened, period, throughout our country. Uh, ours is a small mom pops hardware store. Been at it a long time, but but I, I paid many insurance claims just like you, Mr. Hancock. Uh, they've uh, I'm I'm old enough to remember when when we filed the claim. They came out, they re gave us plenty of money to take care of our property. Everything went smooth, and these lawyers didn't have a business plan. But I think the insurance companies have created this business plan y'all speak of, and y'all are going to help them by letting it, let them have some more latitude. And, and they can't have any more, and I, I don't think they should have any reprieve on their interest or any of those things that, that you keep talking about because right now they could just flat tell me no. And it, it, my roof was pouring. I was hard-headed. I wouldn't take and take their no for an answer. I talked to many roofing companies. And, and back to the dollars and the monetary losses, these insurance companies are losing, and I'll hit on it real quick. But that went from uh, about a $100,000 roof to quite a bit when the lawyers got involved, but they could have settled it in the beginning. And I'd paid premiums for 25 years to this same company, and they refused to settle my claim. And basically said no. Thank you, Mr. Price. Members, any questions? Yes, sir. Uh, as someone who owns a couple of gravel roofs and understand the difficulties, and I've had them passed a few times over, uh, just to be clear, because I'm where you are, maybe a few more square feet, but um, going after an insurance company is not uh, restricted. It's not prohibited in this bill. Uh, can you get mold insurance today? Can I get what? Mold insurance coverage. Uh, I haven't looked for it. Yeah. <coughs> you know. Good luck. Uh, yeah, I'm sure that's right. right. Of course, and, I live and, in. And so that's what we're looking at is the fact that there's been a 1,400% increase in litigation. My concern as a business owner is especially North Texas with mm -hmm. with the gravel top warehouse roofs. Yes, sir. I want to make sure I can get health insurance coverage five years from now. Yes, sir. Um, and if we go down the road that we want with hell with the mold, they're going to quit offering me hell insurance coverage. And I want to make sure that that, that happens is why we're trying to offer this balanced piece of legislation to deal with really a small portion of bad actors um, in, in uh, lawyers so that we can make sure you can get coverage down the road but yet you still have the right to go after your insurance company if they're not acting properly so i appreciate you but, coming in but, testifying it's great to hear from you we're, we're from the texas panhandle there's plenty of dry mold's not I, usually I've, a problem we just I've have fires a, i've got, I've got uh, <laughs> a warehouse in the panhandle as well and so i want to make sure i can get health coverage up there and uh, and the other coverages uh, weather related yes sir 